welcome to English with eTalk. This is your English teacher, Chris. Today, we're going to give you some tips how to speak English fluently. Do you speak with a lot of pauses and hesitations? Do you have difficulty expressing your ideas in English? Do you mentally translate from your native language to English? But the sentences come out incorrect or unnatural when you speak? If you want to eliminate these problems and become fluent in English, the secret is learning to think in English. The problem with thinking in your native language and translating is that it results in sentences that are not correct in English. Because the grammar and sentence structure is often different in English, and your native language. Also, it takes too much time to think and translate when you're in a conversation, leading to pauses, hesitations, and the inability to speak fast and fluently. Many students believe that thinking in English is too difficult, but I'm going to teach you how to succeed. You can learn this skill with practice, whether you're a beginner, intermediate or advanced level one thinking in individual english words for example when you wake up in the morning think of words like bed toothbrush bathroom eat banana coffee clothes shoes then when you go to work think of words like car job company desk Computer, paper, pencil, colleague, boss. During the day, continue to think of the individual English words for everything you see, hear, and do. Try this exercise. Look around you right now and think of all the English words you can. I'd imagine you can think of at least 10 words. Level 2. Thinking in complete English sentences. On this level, you think in complete phrases and sentences during the day. When you're at lunch, think, I'm eating a sandwich. My friend is drinking soda. The restaurant is very good. When you're watching TV, think, that actress is beautiful. The journalist has black hair. He's talking about politics. It's okay if the sentences are very simple. The most important part is to practice and develop the habit of thinking in complete sentences in English. Level 3. Functional English. On this level, you imagine having to use English for everything that you need to do. After every time you speak in your native language, think of how you would say that in English. For example, how would you buy a train ticket or order a drink in an English-speaking country? A round-trip ticket to Central Station, please? Could I have a lemonade with no sugar? This helps develop your English for real-life situations, even though you are only thinking and not speaking. If during this exercise you don't know how to say something, Check your dictionary later. If you do this, your mental practice regularly, you will develop the ability to use English in everyday situation. Level four, narrative English, telling a story or speaking in English for a long time. It's best to do this exercise when you have some time, like when you're waiting in line or taking a public transportation. Think of a memory or a story that you would like to tell to an English-speaking friend. Then, tell the story in your head in English. Because you're only thinking, not speaking, you can relax and do your best without all the pressure of a real conversation. So, I hope you can see that you don't need to be super advanced to learn to think in English. You can start today. Your action item is to choose one of the four levels and try it. First, thinking in individual words. Second, thinking in complete sentences. Third, 
functional English, and the fourth one is narrative English. That's all for today. This is Chris of English with eTalk. See you again next time. Bye!